Maharashtra attracts many tourists from different states and foreigners too. It was the second most visited Indian state by foreigners and fourth most visited state by domestic tourists in the country in 2014. Aurangabad is the tourism capital of Maharashtra. Major urban cities include Mumbai, Pune, Nashik, Aurangabad, Nanded, and Nagpur. City tourism <inaudible> Mumbai The city is the eastern equivalent of New York City and Los Angeles, the financial capital and entertainment Bollywood capital of the country. Places of interest include, Haji Ali Darga situated about 500 yards from the shoreline in the middle of the Arabian Sea. Along with being a religious place, it is a great attraction for tourists. More than 10,000 people of all religions visit the place every day. Gateway of India, the Bandra Worli Sea Link, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrahalaya, Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus, a humongous architectural stone structure built by the British more than 200 years ago, downtown Mumbai, reminiscent of the 19th century British architecture. Gurgaon Chowpati Beach, Maud Island Beach and other beaches towards the south of Mumbai. Elephanta Caves, carved out of a giant stone on an island are a short ferry away into the Arabian Sea. Due to its cosmopolitan nature, Mumbai has proven a popular tourism destination most often visited by Indians. Nashik <laughs> <laughs> This city is famous for its grapes and vineyards. It is known as the wine capital of India, owing to 22 wineries being located here out of a total of 46 throughout India. Several wine festivals and wine tasting tours are held in this region. Nashik is also surrounded by various forts and hills and has an abundance of hiking trails. A 108 feet tall statue of the first Jain Tirthankar Rishabdev was consecrated at Manji Tungi in 2016, which is the tallest Jain statue in the world. The place has now become a major pilgrimage and tourist destination in the state. The city also has a lot of religious and mythological significance. Lord Rama lived in Panchavati during his exile as mentioned in the epic Ramayana. It is famous for its numerous temples like Kalaram Mandir, Trimbakeshwar Temple, one of the twelve Jyotirlingas. The river Godavari, also known as the Ganga of the South, originates from the Brahmagiri Hills in Trimbakeshwar. The Nashik Trimbakeshwar Simhastha is one of the four Kumbh Milas held every twelve years in Nashik. Kumboj <coughs> Kumboj is the name of an ancient town located in Kolhapur district, Maharashtra. The town is about 8 km from Hatkanangale, about 27 km from Kolhapur. The famous Jain pilgrimage centre where a 28-foot high statue of Bahabali is installed is 2 km .2 miles from the Kumboj city. Pune. Pune district has been at the centre of Maharashtran history for more than 400 years, beginning with the Deccan Sultanates and followed by the Maratha Empire. The district has a number of mountain forts and buildings from these eras, in addition to shrines revered by Marathi Hindus including five of the eight Ashtavanayaka Ganesha temples. Samadhis of the two most revered Marathi Bhakti saints and Tukaram are in Alandi and Dihu, respectively. The main temple of Khandoba, the family deity for most Marathi Hindus, is in Jijari, the British designated Pune as the monsoon capital of the Bombay Presidency, and many buildings and parks from the era remain. Hill stations such as Lonavla and Khandala also date back to the Raj, and remain popular with residents of Pune and Mumbai for holidays. The district's mountains, forests and reservoirs are popular for hiking and birdwatching. Bigwan, a catchment area of the Ujjani Dam, is about from Pune on NH9, the Pune Sola Pure Highway. An area of about 18,000 hectares 69 square miles has been proposed as a sanctuary for migratory birds. Ambajogai This city lies in the central part of Maharashtra and cultural attraction of tourists for cultural heritage places. 
The Shivlini Caves and Ambajogai Temple, the town named Ambajogai by goddess Ambabai, Yogeshwari a heritage temple. There is an ancient cave called Shivlini Caves or Jogai Mandap declared as a heritage point archaeological sites in Maharashtra, where Lord Shankar, Nandi, and elephants were carved in stone. The town has other heritage temples like Sakleshwar, Twelve Kambi, Koleshwar, Mukandraj Cave and Dasopant Swami Samadhi, Kashivashwanath, Amruthashwar Temple, etc. In the 13th century, Swami Mukandraj wrote first Marathi poetry meaning, the ocean of wisdom in Ambajogai. This work is widely acclaimed for its literary quality as well as the philosophical content. It remains not only the first but among the best literary works ever produced in Marathi. Ambajogai has good connectivity by road and railways. Ambajogai is widely considered the educational and cultural capital of Marathwada. Aurangabad This city lies in the central part of Maharashtra and attracts tourists for its natural beauty. The Ajanta Caves and Alora Caves, that lie on the outskirts of Aurangabad are internationally renowned for man-made caves and intricate carvings in them. Alora is notable for having a unique monolithic vertically excavated building known as Kailasa Temple. Alora and Ajanta Caves is notably for Lord Buddha in stone. Ancient Buddhist life has been depicted in the delicate stonework. While Ajanta is completely Buddhist caves, Alora caves belong to Buddhism, Hinduism, and Jainism. Summers are not advisable for touring as temperatures can reach up to and above 44 degrees Celsius during the day. There are other famous places of interest like Bibi Ka Makbara, the Taj Mahal of Deccan, Dalatabad Fort, Panchaki, Sunhari Mahal, etc. Aurangabad has good connectivity by air, road, and railways. Maharashtra attracts many tourists from different states and the foreigner and was the fourth most visited state by domestic tourists in the country Aurangabad is the tourism capital of Maharashtra. Nagpur With a tradition of producing the best oranges, this city is known as the City of Oranges. Nagpur is also known as the second greenest city in India due to a number of trees in the city. The tourism in Nagpur is due to a large number of national parks, wildlife sanctuaries surrounding Nagpur. All of these sanctuaries have tiger as their major attractions. Two notable national parks around Nagpur are Pench National Park around 60 km north of Nagpur, and Tadoba National Park around 180 km south of Nagpur. In recent years, Tadoba National Park gained much importance among wildlife enthusiasts nationally and internationally due to the high probability of sighting tigers. The other wildlife sanctuaries include Nagzira Wildlife Sanctuary around 110 km east of Nagpur, Melgat Tiger Reserve around 260 km west of Nagpur, Umrad Karhanla Wildlife Sanctuary 60 km southeast of Nagpur, Bor Wildlife Sanctuary 60 km southwest of Nagpur, Kana National Park 260 km northeast of Nagpur, Satpura National Park 270 km northwest of Nagpur. Beside these Nagpur has much historical significance. Dikshabhumi, the place where Dr. Babasaheb Ambedkar and locks of the so-called lower caste who deemed as untouchables by Hindu caste system, embraced Buddhism. Another important place to visit is Tekadi Ganesh Mandir on Siddhabildi Fort Complex. The city has other places of tourist importance such as Maharajba Zoo, Futala Lake Chaupati, Raman Science Center and some premier research institutions such as NEERI, CICR, NBSSLUP. Nagpur is well connected with all major cities of India by roadways and railways, and also have an international airport. Dr. Babasaheb Ambedkar International Airport IATA, NAG, ICAO, VANP, is an international airport serving the city of Nagpur, Maharashtra, India. In 2005, it was named after B. R. Ambedkar, the chief architect of the Indian constitution. Nanded Nanded is a place of religious importance for adherents of the Sikh faith. Its best known landmark is the Hazar Sahib Nanded Gurdwara, a former Sikh palace. Nanded is also the holy place for Hindus as it has Ranukadevi Shaktipitha temple at Mahor. Nanded has many Sufi shrines as well. 
Topic: <laughs> Parvani. Parvani is well known for Sufi shrine of the great saint Hazrat Shah Tarabul Haq. Annual two-week fair between the 2nd of February to the 15th of February attracts around half a million tourists and followers. Because of its popularity within Maharashtra, it is often called as Ajmer Sharif of Maharashtra. Topic: <laughs> Satara. This city lies on the western part of Maharashtra. It is known for tourist places like Mahabaleshwar, Y, Pankgani and rivers such as Koina and Krishna. Mahabaleshwar and Pankgani are one of the famous tourist places in India. Krishna originates at Mahabaleshwar near the Jor village in the extreme north of Y district. The Khas Plateau is also one of the most popular tourist attractions in Satara. This plateau falls under the Sayadri sub-cluster of Western Ghats which is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Nature tourism Maharashtra has tremendous potential for nature tourism. Many private and public organizations have begun unique and innovative forms of nature tourism. Hill stations During the colonial rule, the British developed many hill stations throughout India and in Maharashtra to escape heat during the summer months. Most of these are located on the hills of the Sayadri range of the Western Ghats and close to the largest metropolitan areas in state, namely Mumbai and Pune. Chikaldera and Toranmal are two places that are located on the Satpura range, which runs east to west on the border between Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh. Popular colonial era hill stations in the state include Amboli. Chikaldera in Satpur Mountains, Igatpuri on Main Mumbai Busawal Railway Line, Jahar, Karjat on Main Mumbai Pune Railway Line, Kandala on Main Mumbai Pune Railway Line, Lanavala on Main Mumbai Pune Railway Line, Mahabaleshwar Summer Capital of Bombay Presidency during the British Raj, Mataran, linked to the Main Mumbai Pune Railway Line with a narrow gauge mountain train. Pank Ghani close neighbour of Mahabaleshwar with many boarding schools. Panhala Toranmalavasa is a very recently developed township and is under private control. Religious tourism Maharashtra boasts of a large number of popular and revered religious venues that are heavily frequented by locals as well as out of state visitors. Some of the popular places are Vithoba Temple. Pandharpur is the main centre of worship for the Hindu deity Vithoba, believed to be a local form of god Krishna or Vishnu and his consort Rakumai. There is also a small temple of Sri. Vithal Rukmini, which is as old as the main Vithal Rukmini Mandir, in Isbavi area of Pandharpur known as Vakari Va Korti Devalayas and also known as Vasava Mandir, they are the most visited temples in Maharashtra. The Varkaras start marching from their homes to the temple of Pandharpur in groups called Dindi procession to reach on Ashadi Ekadashi and Kartiki Ekadashi, all the Warkaras and the group called Dindi, first stop at Vakari Va Korti Devalayas, Vasava Mandir, Isbavi, Pandharpur. A dip in the holy river Chandrabhaga on whose banks Pandharpur resides, is believed to have the power to wash all sins. All the devotees are allowed to touch the feet of the idol of Vithoba. Shagan, resting place of Gajanan Maharaj, the late 19th, early 20th century religious figure Akalkot, temple, Matha dedicated to 19th century Swami Samarth. Shirdi, temple of Sai Baba, a hugely revered late 19th, early 20th century with global following. Tulhapur, temple of goddess Bhavani Kolhapur, temple of goddess Mahalakshmi or Ambabai Mumbai, Mahalakshmi temple in South Mumbai Mumbai, Haji Ali Darga, a popular mosque built in the sea off the coast of Worli Mumbai, Mount Mary Church in the suburb of Bandra Pune, Osho International Meditation Resort. It attracts visitors from other parts of India and abroad. Nanded, Hazar Sahib Nanded Gurudwara, the resting place of Sikh Guru Gobind Singh 
The statue of Ahimsa, a 108 feet idol of first Jain Tirthankara Rishabhanatha carved in monolithic stone, was consecrated at Manji Tungi in February 2016. It is recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records as the tallest Jain idol in the world. It has become a major pilgrimage and tourist destination. <laughs> Gallery <laughs>